This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Whitney Miller. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. The CDC has announced major changes to COVID quarantine policies. The agency says people who have tested positive can leave isolation after five days. That's down from 10 days. People exposed to the virus can also now leave quarantine after five days. CDC officials say the decision was influenced by a recent surge in COVID-19 cases driven by the Omicron variant. There were fewer deadly crashes on Ohio Road roads this Christmas holiday than the three previous years. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says from Thursday, December 23rd until Sunday, December 26th, seven people were killed in crashes. Troopers say three of the victims were not wearing seatbelts. The total number is down from nine in 2020 and 12 in 2019. A Christmas Eve fire near UC's campus was has turned deadly. Authorities say Aaron Battersby has died after he was hospitalized in critical condition. The fire happened Friday at the Clifton Woods Apartments on Marshall Avenue. The cause of the fire remains under investigation, but crews say the area is difficult to work in with limited access to water and tight spaces. Ask and you shall receive a fan favorite from Graders is not only back, but back for good. Ice cream fans have been clamoring for the return of the formerly seasonal Boldly Bearcat flavor with UC in the college football playoff. Now, as of yesterday, it is on the regular menu for good. The Marscapone Oreo cookie and chocolate chip ice cream had typically only been available from January to February. Now we'll toss it over to Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh for a look at your nine first warning forecast. Steve. Okay, let's take a look at it, Whitney. And right now we've got clouds and there's still a chance for showers as we go through tonight. Uh, winds are up a little bit breezy and 44 overnight, so very mild weather continues. Won't be quite as warm as what we had today. We hit 69, just one degree shy of the record set back in 2008. Tomorrow, though, I'm looking at 56. Rain developing likely in the afternoon and then again in the evening with a chance before that. As you look at our nine first warning forecast, overall kind of a wet forecast ahead, not just tomorrow, then on Wednesday some rain. Slight chance of the morning Thursday. Friday, some partly cloudy skies, but more rain on Saturday. That cold front that's triggering the rain then, well, you'll see the big drop in temperatures and the potential for some light snow.